My Audi S4 is soon to hit 50,000 miles, but I have absolutely no idea whether or not the spark plugs have been changed in the whole time the car's been on the road. And the reason for that is quite simple. Online service records just don't work. I have to get hold of Plymouth. They tell me that they can only show me service history up until 38,000 miles, which is when I first got the car. I can't see anything before unless I get hold of Brighton Audi. This just doesn't make sense to me. Why don't I just have it on paper? So, of course, I've got no idea what is going on apart from, oh, you've had a service. Well, what was done? I didn't get any more information than that. And they also told me that I had a service done at 58,000 miles this year, which is impossible. And so with the Audi service schedule recommending you change the spark plugs every 40,000 miles or six years, I thought I'd give it a go myself. For this job, you will need a little flathead screwdriver, which I'm also gonna use as a pick because it's quite small, so it should do the job. You then need a little ratchet with a 30 Torx bit on the end. You need a torque wrench. You need some dielectric spark plug boot grease to be able to put it in between the lead and the spark plug. You then need gloves. And funnily enough, I got one and two hands, luckily for me, to put in those gloves. You then got the spark plugs there. And you've also then got this. And this is one of the main things for this job. This is a 14 millimeter socket to put in over the spark plug. But as you can see, it is one with 12 pieces here, a double hex. And the problem with this is that you've got to find one that is skinny enough because the tunnels, should we call them, that spark plugs go into are really, really skinny. And this here, outer circumference cannot be any more than 17 and three quarter millimeters. I'll try to put a link in the description below for all this stuff here that you will need. These I had to order directly from Audi and they cost around 140 pounds for the six, so not very cheap. That one there was about 12 pounds, which wasn't too bad. And like I say, I'll put that all in the description below for you. And just quickly, Audi and NGK say that you should not use any anti-seize on the threads of these as they have a special coating to prevent seizing if changed in a timely manner. First things first is the engine cover, which you should be able to just pull off like so. Nice and easy, diddly done. On the driver's side of my car, I need to remove this to be able to get to the plug under here. So what I'm gonna do is just undo these two Jubilee clips and lift that out. So on the driver's side here, guys, I just used this little pick just to get at this little clip here, and it came out nice and easy. These cars aren't very old yet, so they should all come out quite nicely. But the only thing is, I've got this thing here, which I've been able to pop out because it's on two little ball, ball pieces, or ball joints, I guess. And there's two of them, and you just have to pop them up and out. But seeing as I'm here, I'm gonna show you how to do this one. It's nice and easy. You just take this 30 Torx out, that should pull up and out, and then you can get in to get the spark plug. It'll be really interesting to see what condition they're in. That is what we're going for today, guys, the spark plugs. And this was the moment of truth to see if I had ordered the right socket and Guys, it is, that is perfect. This is the one you want. I will put a link to it in the description below. Anything bigger, and it will bottom out before you hit that plug. Nice and careful. There we go, guys. Don't look too bad, to be fair. And as you do when you're changing spark plugs, you've always got to show everyone the difference between the two. So that is the difference. And by the way, these come pre-gapped. Time to put the new plug in, torque it to 13 newton meters. I couldn't find specs anywhere, so I took an educated guess, and this might not quite be right. Next is a dielectric grease, so it's easier to do next time. Then to put the ignition coil back in and the bolt securing it, plug the electric connector back in, and we are done on this one. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you some devastating news. 95% of you who have watched the videos haven't subscribed to the channel yet. So you're missing out on the S4, you're missing out on the A8, you're missing out on the S124, you're missing out on the C320 and any other money pits that I buy in the future. So please do hit that subscribe button below. It means a lot and become the legends you were born to be. So please do hit that subscribe button now. Back into the video. I found I could reach the bits I needed by moving the wire pack above whenever I needed to, giving me just enough space to get everything out.
The passenger side is a lot more covered than the driver's side and you've got this big piece here with all this wiring coming through and to be honest I don't quite know how to get it out. There's a metal pin kind of thing here that slides up to a piece of plastic that you can lift and this bit I think feels like a bit of a ball joint like the other side. So I finally managed to get this plug out um, but I can't really get this bloody coil out now. It's real tight in here. I really think you've got to try and find a way of taking this off. All of this runs all the way down the bottom here. It goes all in into here, into the, um, what I'm guessing is the ECU. Ideally, I don't really want to be taking all of this off. I tried moving this hose out of the way, but it wasn't budging. And to be honest, I don't know if it is the right hose to move. So I had to come up with another plan. I found that the closest coil could be removed by pushing everything away from it. I then found that removing this PCV valve hose thing, I think that's what it is, made it easier to get to the other two coils. There was a fair bit of moving around to be able to get those coils back in, but it wasn't too bad of a job. Time to put the PCV tube back on or whatever it is. And clip back down that wiring box. With all of this done, all we have to do is stick the air hose back on with the Jubilee clips and push the engine cover back on. And now it is time, finally, now it's all done, to see whether it's actually gonna start. Because it should, but I'm a bit useless. So we're just gonna have to see, aren't we? Right. Here we are, moment of truth. It's running. And don't worry about that ticking. You hear it? That is the high pressure fuel pump. They're supposed to run like a bag of nails, supposedly. Make sure there's nothing under there, there's nothing under there. And there we have it guys, all of the spark plugs done for the Audi S4. These will tell me that they have been because they're not that bad, but you can see that they're all very, very evenly used and worn. So that means there's no issues with any of the cylinders in particular, because otherwise you'd have one that was quite noticeably different, but they're all very, very similar. So I'm happy. So there we have it guys, all the spark plugs changed on the S4. That is how you do it. I hope that helps some of you out if you have the S4 and you need it doing. Like I say, it also is for the S5, B9 and the SQ5 and also the C8, A7, A8 and also the Gen 1 Q8. So easy peasy, um, just a few little niggly bits, but we got there in the end. So the car is running and it sounds, sounds fine. It's firing up, it's absolutely perfect. Um, to be honest, it's very hard to do it really wrong. It's a fairly simple job, so um, definitely give it a go yourselves. I saved around £250 compared to what I would have paid at Audi. As mentioned in the video, only 5% of people that watch my videos actually subscribe to the channel, so please, please, please hit that subscribe button if you could. That'd be brilliant. Please like the video, it pushes it up in the algorithm. It means that it gets out to more people that helps them out and helps me out and helps you out. And it means that over time, I can start putting more and more time and energy into the channel, and that would be brilliant. I would, that would be an absolute dream. So yeah, S4, all done. Now let's go for a drive. See you guys. See you in the next one.